What's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on NHL 20 and once again we will be doing another career simulation video this time on rookie Nick Suzuki of the Montreal Canadiens. Nick Suzuki originally was drafted 13th overall in 2017 by the Vegas Golden Knights and was part of the Max Pacioretty trade with the Habs. Currently Nick Suzuki is in his rookie season in real life and he is having a very solid showing so far. So today we are going to be taking control of a Western Conference team and doing whatever we can to stay out of the way of the Montreal Canadiens and Nick Suzuki in the simulation. Then we are going to simulate year by year to see his stats and if he wins any awards. So with all this being said, now let's see how Nick Suzuki is looking heading into his rookie season with the Montreal Canadiens. So heading into the first season of his career in this simulation, EA and the Montreal Canadiens have Nick Suzuki on the fourth line at center playing between Joel Armia and Nick Cousins. Nick Suzuki is starting off at 80 overall and has high top 6 potential. The game originally had him at medium top 6 potential, but with how he's been playing so far this year in real life, I decided to give him a little bit of a bump in potential. Although I bumped his potential, I did not touch any of his stats, and to start off he has 89 deking, 86 offensive awareness, and very high skating stats. Now let's see if this will be enough to bring the Montreal Canadiens back to the playoffs and possibly win the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. So in their first year with Nick Suzuki, the Montreal Canadiens finished 29th and missed out on the playoffs for the third straight season. Nick Suzuki's rookie season saw him score 11 goals and 19 assists for 30 points in 82 games. Nick Suzuki increases to an 81 overall, and the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year ends up going to Martin Nagus of the Carolina Hurricanes. Also, the Canadians did end up winning the draft lottery and go on to draft Alexis Lafreniere, so maybe down the road we may see Nick Suzuki and Lafreniere playing together on the same line. Once again, the Canadians are on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoffs as they finish 24th in the league. In his sophomore season, Nick Suzuki played in 79 games and scored 16 goals and 27 assists for 43 points on the year. With this, he increases to an 84 overall as he heads into the final year of his rookie contract. In year 3, the Canadians finished 29th in the NHL for the second time in 3 years and again did not make the playoffs. Nick Suzuki in the final year of his rookie deal played in 77 games and put up 8 goals and 25 assists for 33 points. He was a minus 24 and this really hurt him as he fell all the way back down to 79 overall. In the offseason, he signs a 4 year extension with the Habs that season making $4.9 million per year. Year 4 is nothing different as the Montreal Canadiens end up doing worse and finish 30th in the NHL. In the first year of his new deal, Nick Suzuki ended up finishing the season with 12 goals and 32 assists for 44 points. After the season, he shoots back up in overall and is now an 85. Despite the team drafting Lafreniere and having what seemed to be a bright future, the Habs once again do not make the playoffs and finish 26th in the NHL. Even though the team had a really poor season, Nick Suzuki had his career best and led the entire Montreal Canadiens team in scoring with 11 goals and 46 assists for 57 points. Even though he had his career best in points, he does stay put at 85 overall. Finally in year number 6, the Montreal Canadiens find themselves back in the playoffs for the first time since 2017 after finishing 14th in the league. In the playoffs, the Habs upset the President's Trophy winning Toronto Maple Leafs but were eliminated in 7 games to the Buffalo Sabres in the second round. Nick Suzuki's regular season saw him score 15 goals and 43 assists for 58 points and in the playoffs put up 10 points in 13 games. With this, Suzuki is up to an 86 overall. In year 7, the Canadians finished 12th in the NHL and made the playoffs for the second straight year. They once again played the Leafs in the first round, sadly though this time they were taken out in just 5 games. Nick Suzuki in the final year of his current deal scored 14 goals and 41 assists for 55 points in the regular season and in the playoffs had 2 goals in only 3 games. Suzuki stays put at 86 overall and in the offseason decides to move on from the Habs and signs a 3 year $6.4 million per year deal with the New York Islanders. Nick Suzuki's signing with the Islanders seems to be a good one as the Isles finished 6th in the league. The playoffs were a solid run as they went all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals but were sadly swept by the Buffalo Sabres. Nick Suzuki's first season with the Islanders had him scoring 15 goals and 35 assists for 50 points and in the playoffs had a goal and 7 assists for 8 points. Suzuki stays put at 86 overall. After finishing 6th in the league the year before and going all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals, the New York Islanders fall off a cliff the next year and finish 24th. As for Nick Suzuki, his season sees him score only 12 goals and 34 assists for 46 points and once again stays put at 86 overall. For the second straight year, the New York Islanders do not qualify for the Stanley Cup playoffs after finishing 27th in the NHL. Nick Suzuki in his third year with the Isles scored 16 goals and 49 assists for 65 points and is still an 86 overall. This is the last year of his contract and in the offseason decides to sign with the Dallas Stars on a 6 year, $8 million per year deal. 
So in the first 10 years of his career, 7 in Montreal and 3 with the Islanders, Nick Suzuki in 804 career games has scored 130 goals and 351 assists for 481 career points and is a minus 19. So far he hasn't really been bad, but he hasn't been fantastic either. I was really hoping to see him and Lafreniere tear it up together in Montreal, but I guess that will not be happening. Hopefully he has a few huge seasons waiting for him in the upcoming years, and possibly a Stanley Cup with the Dallas Stars. Year 11 sees Dallas finishing 8th in the NHL after a very strong regular season. Despite this great season, the playoffs were a different story as they were upset in the first round by the Chicago Blackhawks in 6 games after having a 2-0 series lead. Nick Suzuki's first season with the Stars was a shortened one as he only played in 69 games. In those 69 games, he scored 11 goals and 41 assists for 52 points and in the playoffs scored 4 goals in 6 games. Once again, to no one's surprise, Nick Suzuki stays put at 86 overall. After finishing 8th in the year prior, the Dallas Stars have an injury-riddled season that leads to them finishing 29th in the league. Nick Suzuki ended up missing 3 games and scoring just 12 goals and 18 assists for 30 points, and as you can see a lot of guys missed a lot of games this year for Dallas. After a very poor 30 point season that saw him a minus 37, Nick Suzuki drops all the way down to a 79 overall. For the second straight year, Dallas finds themselves out of the playoffs as they finish 19th and miss the playoffs by just 4 points. Nick Suzuki bounces back and has another one of his typical seasons in the 50 point range. This year he put up 13 goals and 39 assists for 52 points and shoots all the way back up to an 85 overall. Finally in year 14, the Dallas Stars finished 12th in the league and are back in the Stanley Cup playoffs. In the playoffs, Dallas knocked off Nashville and Los Angeles, but were swept in the conference finals by the Edmonton Oilers. Nick Suzuki had another decent season, scoring 15 goals and 49 assists for 64 points, and in the playoffs scored 2 goals and 7 assists for 9 playoff points. Once again, Nick Suzuki is back up to an 86 overall. Once again, Dallas finds themselves back in the playoffs for the second straight year after winning the Central Division and finishing 4th in the NHL. In the playoffs, they completely collapsed as they were upset in 6 games by the Anaheim Ducks. At 34 years old, Nick Suzuki has his career best season as he put up 17 goals and 59 assists for 76 points in the regular season, and in the playoffs scored 2 goals and 5 assists for 7 points in just 6 games. This was the best season so far for Nick Suzuki, and this has him sitting at 87 overall heading into the final year of his current deal. Once again, the Dallas Stars win the Central Division and make their way back to the playoffs as they finish 2nd in the NHL. Again in the playoffs though, they choke and are taken out in the first round once again this time to the eventual Stanley Cup champion Vancouver Canucks in 6 games. Nick Suzuki had another good season, this time scoring 17 goals and 57 assists for 74 points, which is just 2 points shy of his career high which he reached last season. The playoffs were a different story though as he struggled to produce and only had 1 assist in 6 games. Nick Suzuki drops to an 86 overall, and in the offseason re-signs with the Dallas Stars on a 2 year deal worth $7.6 million per season. For the third straight year, the Dallas Stars win the Central Division and put together another amazing regular season as they again finish second in the NHL. The playoffs are heartbreaking though as the Stars lose all the way in the Stanley Cup Finals in Game 7 to the New York Rangers. Nick Suzuki's regular season had him finishing the year with 20 goals and 42 assists for 62 points and in the deep playoff run scored 2 goals and 14 assists for 16 points in 25 games. Nick Suzuki's age is catching up to him now and this leads to him dropping all the way down to an 82 overall. Year 18 sees the Stars fall back a bit in the standings as they finish 14th in the league and for the first time in 3 years do not win the Central Division, but they are still a playoff team. In the playoffs, they find themselves in another deep run that once again has them losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, this time in the conference finals to the Vegas Golden Knights. In 77 games, Nick Suzuki scored 12 goals and 41 assists for 53 points and in the playoffs put up 13 points in 17 games. Nick Suzuki stays put at 82 overall and despite this, does decide to retire in the offseason. So in an 18 year NHL career, Nick Suzuki spent his time with the Montreal Canadiens, New York Islanders, and the Dallas Stars. He played in 1,437 games, scored 247 goals, and 697 assists for 944 career NHL points. Suzuki never won any personal awards or a Stanley Cup. The closest he came to a Stanley Cup was just one game as him and the Dallas Stars fell in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals to the New York Rangers in year number 17. Over his career, Nick Suzuki made close to $105 million, and overall not too bad of a career. He never had a monstrous season points-wise like I was hoping, but he was a solid, consistent top 6 player throughout his career. So there you have it, 
Nick Suzuki's career simulated in NHL 20. As always, I would just like to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the Laugh and Air video did really well, so I was really happy to see that. So thank you for that. Um, also, just let me know who you guys want to see next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.